Pokey people, lovely to see you. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today I got a couple different things for you. First off, I want to show you a couple things I picked up at the Pokemon Center recently. So let me grab those. Um, nothing too too crazy, but they just recently released a new line of merchandise called Mofu Mofu Paradise, and Mofu Mofu is like fluffy. So it's all based on fluffy Pokemon, basically. Um, but like, Fua Fua is even fluffier than Mofu Mofu. Mofu Mofu is kind of... I don't know, like, I've got an Eevee plushie here. You know how Eevee's got this, like, fluffy little... Not quite a mane, but you know, like a rough here? This is Mofu Mofu. But, like, I don't know, what would be a Fua Fua Pokemon? Um, I don't know. Uh, it, it, Japanese onomatopoeia is confusing. It's a little difficult sometimes. But... I went ahead, as you know, I have an addition to postcards, so I had to buy the postcard set. Yeah, I guess Mofu Mofu is more kind of like dense fur, like a Shiba Inu is Mofu Mofu, but like a Pomeranian would be Fua Fua. <laughs> this is a very strange Japanese lesson we're having right now. But as you can see, we have these adorable cuties, very fox-like Pokemon all together, and of course Eevee, who I guess you could argue is kind of fox-like, but also kind of cat-like. I don't know, it's a Pokemon. They can be whatever they want to be. So we got that one. Then we've got back here, postcard number two. We got the burbs. Look at them. And Whimsicott, who's not a bird. But we got some cute, fluffy little birds. They're so cute. We got some Swablu. Well, Swablu and Altaria and Mokuro and Chicken Nugget. And card number three. Of course, you can't have. See, that, I would have assumed. We're going to get back to this Fua Fua Mofu Mofu thing. I would have assumed that Mareep, as a sheep, would be Fua Fua, but it's Mofu Mofu. Or maybe they're interchangeable? I don't know. Somebody who's better Japanese, correct me here. But, of course, you can't have cute, fluffy, squishy Pokemon without having Mareep, Flaffy, and Ampharos. And just look at that Pikachu. Look at him. Oh, those chubby cheeks. <laughs> He's the happiest Pikachu in the world. And the last image is... Ta-da! Some also fluffy Pokemon, but a bit darker ones. Um, is that Luxray? Do I have that right? Of course, Arcanine, Sableye. No, not Sableye. What am I talking about? Um, oh no! <laughs> I've lost Absol. There we go. Absol. What? Why did I get Sableye? What is wrong with me? And one of the Lycan rocks down here. But... Very, very gorgeous artwork. I love everything in this set, which is why I also bought the Clear File set. So it's all the exact same artwork, but March, lar March, much larger, which means I'm going to open up this package back here. Ooh, ooh, which one are we going to choose? I like the Mareep one, so I'm going to pull it out. Sorry about the rustling back here. And we're going to do this. Ta-da! Yay! Just for a change. <laughs> I like changing up the background every now and again. And it is just so cute. Oh my goodness. Can we adjust the camera? Crunch! Oh, oh, oh! Goodness, it's so cute! I can't even... Oh, oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. Um, now the files have one image on one side and another image on the other. So there's only two files. I'll just show you like the other one here has that image on this side and that image on the other side, but they are super amazing and whenever I feel like changing the background, now I have more things to change the background into. I have a lot of stuff I can do that with. And speaking of files, because I was buying some things with Eevee, they gave me this freebie one. Um, we're gonna have to pick the camera up for this so you can see it, but da 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 Obviously it's for the anime! Yay! It plays on Sundays at 6 p.m. I assume 6 p.m. since it says Rokuji, which is 6 o'clock, and there's no way they're playing it at 6 a.m. But we got some more images from the anime here. So that was a really cool, unexpected little surprise that they gave me when I was purchasing things. I was actually picking up um, the Halloween Sylveon plushie for a friend and wasn't expecting to get given extra merch. Now, the last little thing that I bought while I was there, before we get into the other things I really want to show you today, or want to open, I should say, is this! I had to do it. <laughs> ah! I've needed this ever since I first saw images of it online, and finally was like, you know what? No, it's the day. Now, I don't have a cable right here in my hands to show you what it looks like on the phone, but I just need you to see this. <laughs> ah! 
it's just so good. I can't wait to put it on my phone. It's amazing. Um, I already have cable holders for my chargers, so it's going to go with my headphones. So anytime I'm listening to music, that will be attached to me. Now what I wanted to open today was at least one of these. We might do two, we might do all three. Let's just see how this goes and see how my throat's feeling. Now these are the mystery boxes from the vending machine at Big Magic and they contain English packs. Um, in the past I've gotten three packs out of one of these before. They are usually a thousand, well they are, they are a thousand yen, but they don't always have a thousand yen worth of stuff in them. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes a little less. I've sometimes gotten two packs and then a single card, but it is English products only. So let's just see what we're going to get here. We're getting, oh, oh, <gasps> Shining Legends. Oh, okay. That, right off the bat, I think they charge 800 yen for those packs. And, ooh, Celestial Storm. I don't think I've opened any English Celestial Storm. And that's everything in that box. So let's open these up, see how they go, and um, see if I go crazy after. Let's save Shining Legends for a second, because I love Shining Legends, as you guys know. Um, and let's try to open this as gently as possible. Oh, no. Well, we're just going to kill it then. <laughs> Oh, mooning slack off. <coughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cough on you guys. It's mooning slack off. Oh, I forgot about that. I need him in English because I have the double page spread and I need him in English so that I can have like a checkerboard going on of like Japanese, English, Japanese, English, um, mooning slack offs. Now the trick is four, right? Energy card at the front. Yes, okay, it's been a while since I've done English packs. We got a Leaf Energy. We got a Loud Red. Energy Recycle System. Shrine of Punishment. I have encountered this a few times. Oh, we're out of focus. Was I out of focus for you guys? It's okay. It was an Energy Recycle System and a Loud Red. We're fine, we're fine. It's all good. Um, I've encountered that a few times when playing online. It is so annoying. But also, when I use it, I'm just like, ho, 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 I am so mean. I feel so proud of myself. Oh, I just love him so much. He goes in the special place. You know what? He's super special. We got Surskit. I feel like I've been calling it the wrong name recently. Maybe not. Maybe I'm confusing myself. Slugma. Larvitar. Whismer. Oop. Ooh. Our reverse is the rainbow brush. Looks very nice. It's been so long since I've, like, pulled a reverse of anything. And our rare card is... Articuno GX. Oh. Oh, that is so nice. Of course, I have this in Japanese, but it's just so nice to have the English version too. Oh, oh it looks so good. Let's put him in his sleeve and keep him, oops, keep him nice and safe. All right, he's going to go in the special spot. Shining Legends time. You know, I'm kind of feeling like opening all the boxes. Oh, oh, see, how come that one opened so nicely? But the other one was just like, no, haha, oh yeah. I forgot, they're all white cards of Shining Legends. White cards, white codes. So it doesn't matter if we see the color of the code card. It's not spoiling anything, so it can only be one thing. All right, so there are some reverses I still need in this set. And I think pretty much everything else I need is like a hyper rare card. So, um, oh, hello, Latios Hollow. Did I do the pack trick wrong? Is it not four? I guess I totally did it wrong. Um, wait, 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 what? What? It's a... What? <laughs> it happened again. We just had three rares in a row. Um, that's the second time I've had an English error pack. My brain is now broken. Quillfish, Stunfisk, Bulbasaur. That... What? Okay, um, Gullet. Minun is our reverse. And... We got a Zoroark GX. Okay, then. Um... Well, that, what did, uh, my brain, I, uh, 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 <laughs> just, how, how does that happen? I can't believe it. We got three rare hollows and a GX in one pack. Like, it, it's just insanity. This stuff, like, I've never had anything like this happen with Japanese packs. I don't think it can happen with the way that they do Japanese packs. Maybe it could, but I don't know. You know what? I feel crazy. Let's just do it. Let's just see what's in the other ones because my brain's broken and I need um, something, something to go on here. Ooh, we got Ultra Prism with that beautiful Giratina art. 
I'm really, really hoping we see some Giratina and Pokemon Go soon. All right, we got two packs in this one as well. Our other one is <gasps> Guardians Rising. And you know what? We're just going to open the other box. Let's just open it up, and then we'll crack open all these packs because... It's been a while since I've done English packs, and this is exciting. Ooh, we got Celestial Storm and Generations. Wow, this is really awesome. You know what? Let's go oldest to newest with this bunch. This is crazy. Like, definitely getting the full value of my 1,000 yen in these ones. Um, like I said, sometimes in the past I have gotten three packs out of these boxes, but I am not going to complain about two packs when it is awesome stuff like this. Let's see if I can... Oh, no, this one doesn't want to open nicely. Carnage time. Carnage time. <laughs> Let's just see how this goes. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's right. Generations do not have codes in them because you get the code card in the product they came in. Um, three and two, maybe? Let's just find out. I know I've opened Generations not that long ago, but it always feels like I completely forget what I'm doing whenever I encounter it. We got a fighting energy. Meowth! Ooh, Cloyster a reverse. Cloyster is our reverse. I can make sentences. Ooh, we got Fletchling. Very cute. Pokemon fan club. Shauna! Ooh! What is today? Oh my goodness, we got the Florian EX. Oh! Oh! Oh, and you know I love Pokecune. I love Pokecune so much. I don't care what you guys call it in English. It is Pokecune forever in my heart. Oh my goodness. I Part of me feels like I should just stop right now and not be greedy because there's no way there can be anything in these other packs. But you know what? We're just doing it. We're opening this Guardians Rising pack. We're going to open the Ultra Prism. We're going to open the Celestial Storm. And let's just go nuts and see what we get. But um, let's make sure I put the code card. There we go. <laughs> You guys can't see what I just did, but I closed my eyes and stuck it under the cushion I'm sitting on on the floor so I couldn't see it and I couldn't spoil anything for myself because this is already just crazy town. We got a steel energy or metal energy, whichever you want to call it. Beware! I feel like it's been a million years since I've seen Beware. Alomomola. I don't know why that was so hard. Alomomola! Rescue stretcher. Need that for my brain right now. Gothita. Pat Rat! Isn't he a guy who makes film theories and game theories on YouTube? Um, Carvana Cottony, Bellsprout, ooh, Oracorio for the reverse, and there we go, a Whale Lord, regular rare. Now we're back to normal life. Okay, normal life is here. It's also the reason why we just got to open all these. Now we got Ultra Prism here, that beautiful, ooh, Giratina art, which doesn't want to be in focus. All right, you know what? You know what, camera? Too bad. Too bad for you. I'm going to do this down here and then see if my hands will get any focus. And okay, maybe we're okay. I don't know why. There's just certain stuff it just doesn't like. It's like, no, I don't want to focus on that. Oh, I hope. I wasn't looking at what I was doing. I closed my eyes again. I hope I didn't spoil that for you guys with the code card there. Maybe you saw a hint of color. We've got a fairy energy, a skateboard, grottle. That's what its name is. I'm going to have to learn these because, you know, Coming soon to Pokemon Go. Cynthia! If I had that in Japanese, it would be worth some money. Passimian. Chimchar! Also coming soon to a Pokemon Go near you. Lickitung. Skorupi. Don't know why I need to roll that R. Gibble! Ooh! Alolan Executor. Reverse rare. And... A Garchomp. Regular rare. Alright, see, this is why we had to do them all. Because you can't have, like six packs of absolute insanity. Got to be some completely normal stuff in there and be kind of a, well, this will be fun for me, but it might be kind of boring for you guys if we didn't get anything crazy in the other packs, right? This is our last pack. I am going to hope for a little last pack magic because it's Celestial Storm, which I think this is only the second pack ever I've opened in English since we just opened the first one I've ever opened a second ago. A second ago, a couple minutes ago, you know what I mean. This video is turning out longer than I thought it would. All right. I hope I didn't spoil the coil card for anybody. Let's see what we get here. I mean, it'd be really cool to get one more GX or a hollow, but let's just see. Let's not be too greedy, since we got three hollows in one pack already. Water energy, lumbre, mawile. It's also just weird just being able to read it and not have to think. Acrobike, slugma. I was just about to say, like, I feel like I just saw you. And I'm like, yeah, I did. I just opened the same set. What is wrong with my brain? Larvitar, Wismer, Bellsprout, Wilmer. 
Ooh, Reggie Steel is our reverse, and our last card is another Whalard. Whalard, Whalord. We got two Whalords today. That is exciting. Well, let's do our recap here because it's a bit crazy town. We got um, three Hollows from one pack, Shining Legends, and of course we got an amazing flurry on full art, two GXs, and the most beautiful card of them all, the Mooning Slackoff. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. Just, just, just stop and appreciate it. Oh, it's lovely. It's so lovely. I need more. Like, seriously, I, I'm not even joking. I need more of these so I can fill up that page. Now, if you've made it all the way to this point in the video where we're not even in focus anymore, there we go. I have something very, very special to show you. Now, I went into Dragon Star the other day with the intention just to check out how much they were charging for the Tapu Koko Prism Star, which I don't have here with me at the moment because I went ahead and put it in the binder with the rest of the set without thinking. But they had something very unexpected. And if you follow me on Twitter, you already know what's coming. And that is... Da -da 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 Gold Stars. Now this is not the first time I've gone into this particular Dragon Star in my neighborhood and they've had Gold Stars. But these ones are beautiful. Like, the condition is so good. Like, I, I don't know how well my camera is picking up on everything or how well you guys are really able to see it, but there is nothing wrong with these cards that I could find. Well, besides this one being not perfectly centered. But, yeah. They were just there. Amazing. Beautiful, beautiful beautiful gold stars. For a second there I thought I was calling them prism stars. Was I? Maybe I was. I don't know. I don't know up from down anymore. Look at that. So in the past I bought um, the Kyogre prism star at that dragon star. I think it was like 3,000-ish yen, which is like $30, but it was pretty roughed up. Um, the front is very clean like these are, but the back is not in good shape. Whereas this one, as you can see, it's like Ooh, beautiful in all size. And I think this was close to 4,000 yen. Now to go along with that beauty, I got this fellow as well. Which, in addition to being gold star and in beautiful condition, is also first edition. Mind blown. I was, like, I I'm not even a Raiko fan, but this card, like, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I need this. I literally looked at them took a picture of what was in the case, plopped it on Twitter, and was like, help! Dudes, what do I do? Went to the ATM, took money out, went back and bought these two. And ended up going back and buying another two gold stars, that time I also had prism star, uh, from the case for a friend, and I will wait for them to have a chance to reveal those to you at a later time when they get to their destination. But, yeah, look at that. I can't see anything wrong with them. Of course, I've got them in perfect fit sleeves, keeping them nice and safe. Now, I've never graded cards in my life. Um, it's kind of tempting because these look like they are in amazing shape, but I think I will need to do a little more research before I decide whether or not I want to try that. But just look at that. Look at it. Ooh. So for those of you who stuck around, I hope you enjoyed this little secret extra special bonus what that I spend my money on that was hiding in the video. Oh, and this one was um close to 7,000 yen. So I don't know if those are like the best prices or not, but I've been told by everybody that like pretty much any time you're dealing with gold stars in Japan, the prices tend to be better than they would be outside of Japan, and the condition is always better than you might expect. Um, I don't know if that's completely accurate. That's what I've heard. And holding these in my hands right now, you know, I'm just inclined to believe that they are absolute perfection. And for the sake of my bank account, I want to believe that I got a good deal. So, <laughs> that is a thing that I did! <coughs> I shouldn't do that with my voice. Well, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little over the place and a bit longer than I was expecting it to be, but... You know, sometimes my brain just runs off and decides we need to do like 10 different things in one video, and I hope that you could enjoy it, even though it was a little crazy. Um, please remember, I will be filming a 1,000 subscriber special very, very soon, so if there's anything you would like me to answer in a video, 
let me know down below with the hashtag AskDodoBozaru and it could be about anything really um, as I said before in the last video when I was rambling and I'm probably gonna ramble again if I do feel uncomfortable or like a question is inappropriate I will let you know that it's not gonna be in a video but I might answer you privately um, but otherwise like yeah just ask away I'm curious to know what you guys are curious to know that is not a good sentence. Anyways, thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Love you and appreciate you. I want to see you again very soon in the next one. Bye-bye!